Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, sorry that I am extremely late. Uh, well, I say extremely. It's like five minutes. But anyway, work ran long. I just got off a meeting with my bosses. It's all very exciting. Anyway, we're back. Here to... Uh, oh, yes. the Goonies, too. As shown here on this very fine map. Uh, I'm Jeremy Parrish for Retronauts, and this is Cartography. And I'm going to continue The Goonies 2, if anyone is interested. Uh, hopefully my map is showing up okay. Okay, it looks like, um... Yeah, it looks like my stream is syncing correctly. Hopefully my voice sounds okay. Maps are here, pins are here, and I'm going to continue playing. Uh, this time I've changed the location of the light, so instead of coming from the right, where I'm right-handed and it creates shadows, it's coming from uh, the front left. So as a righty, that will not be interfering with me. So here's what we have so far. We have um, some rooms and the uh, Fratelli cellar, and I am jumping in. I'm going to start a fresh game because I accomplished so little last time, because I was drawing maps, that um, there's really no downside to me just continuing, or just starting fresh. It'll take me like three minutes to catch up to where I was. Especially if I use this handy map. Wow, what's in here? Why, it's a hammer, and that's it. Uh, next up is room B, as you can see. And inside of room B, we have two... two doors, two rooms, whatever. I take the keys... that's not good. Take the keys and go forward and use the keys to find the Goonies with the magic locator device. Alright, so we've got that much taken care of, and that is this entire screen right here. It took me like a half an hour to map that, and it took me like two minutes to clear it. Oh, nice try, bird, but you missed. I am not really in the right headspace to do this stream, because my, uh, like I said, my work meeting ran long, but, oh, I gotta do it anyway. That's what I get for looking down at my map. Uh, this is not a Gintendo stream, but folks, it's actually a Gintendo stream. It's it's kind of one of those days. Just just really stressful and busy. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Ooh, that's good. So I now have a magic locator device. Let's see what else was in here. Oh, that takes me to the back side. So the back side is good, but first I'm going to get the slingshot, which is in room. Oops, I forgot to label that one. I think that's room D. My bad. So back out, put over here, and take that bird. Okay, let's see if this is worth it. Yep, that's the slingshot. And that is as much as I can accomplish there. Alright, so I think we will begin here by going to ah, the backside, rather than through the warp zone. Oh, why did I jump into that bird? Like I said, I am not in the right headspace for this game. But at least Jake Fratelli didn't get me. Okay, so here we are on the backside of the map. As you may be aware, the Goonies 2 has a front side and a back side. There is a Goonie above me, but I cannot get that Goonie now, because that Goonie is in the attic. And I need the ladder to get to the attic. So, one really quick moment here. I'm going to uh, make some notations on this map that I did not before. That's D, and that is F. Yeah, that's right, we skipped right past E. Okay, we are on to mapping the Goonies 2. So, I feel like we don't want to do backside maps on the same page as the front side. So, let's 
let's see if I remember exactly how I spaced this out. It was how many dots of grid paper per room, per screen? It was 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 by 4. My favorite kind of... Uh, wow, where do I put my papers? It's too unwieldy. Alright, so I am right there, basically. So I'm going to put something down here. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there. Okay. So we have the beginnings of a map. Oh, why, why did I use tape? That was a stupid idea. Alright. So I'm going to move this down so it's a little more centered on the camera. Sorry that it's a little shaky. Yeah, you can't even see where my hand is right now, so... Alright, so there we go. Actually, no, it probably would be better if I... tore some graph paper. You'd think that as many as of these streams as I've done, that I would have some sort of system in place, but my friend, you would be mistaken. That is not the way of this world. Why am I not hearing any music? There we go. Gotta get some Goonies are good enough. Okay. So, now that I've paused one way, I can... or unpaused one way, I can pause a different way and start drawing the map. So, there we go. There's the ladder up. There is a pit. And a ladder down. I can fill in the little spaces here. There's a tiny little bump right there. There's a tiny little bit of ground right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that rises up. And that ladder comes up to about there. Okay, good progress is being made. Look at this tidy little floor that I'm drawing. Okay, so we have a ladder there, and we have this door here. And I think that is about the extent of this screen. I'm very excited. Hey folks, people are showing up in the chat. That's very exciting. Thank you for coming to my drowsy video stream. My drowsy gin-soaked video stream. Um, so it looks like on the map I was more to the right side of the extremes here. Yeah, so there's not a lot of... Uh, I want to jump off the edge there. Oh, I jumped off the edge. That was, that was very clever of me. I want you to know that uh, I get paid for this. <clears throat> Actually, I don't. Like, two dollars from YouTube revenue. Um, so it looks like that's probably about, like... Eh, let's say we'll end it there. And... There. And... I guess that's about it. Okay. So we'll draw... Some more flooring here, jutting out from the ladder. This wall goes all the way up. And that platform comes out to here. And then we have this little guy, a platform. And this is where I need to try to remember what colors I used for my coating. Okay, so moving platforms are orange and doors are red. I wonder if we should have a different numeration system for the doors on the front and the doors on the back. I think the doors on the back side are going to be numbers as opposed to letters. So this right here is door number one. Thank you, Monty Hall. And got to do the orange right there to denote that that is a moving platform to minimize confusion. Don't want the kids to be confused. And K 
carefully draw a little red in there, and there we go. We have that room defined. So I'm going to ride the, es the uh, what is this? Is, is it an escalator, an elevator, a moving platform? Who puts magical flying platforms in their hideout? The Retaliers are strange men. Okay, so I need to kind of keep track. This, the left boundary of the screen you see now, is the left boundary of the map that I've drawn so far. And that's it. There's not a lot to this space. Okay. Um, what plat pin am I looking for? There we go. So that looks like it's about one, two, let's say three. And that comes all the way over here, all the way around. Very good. This is a much smaller uh, audience than I've had for other live streams, but considering what I'm doing here, it's honestly a miracle anyone is here at all. So thank you for your forbearance and your patience and your extremely weird taste in video game live streams. I thank you and the uh, $2 that I'm going to make off of YouTube for this stream uh, also thanks you. Look at that. These, these ladders are not consistent whatsoever. Very embarrassing. But as I've mentioned before, this is not the final version of the map. The way I do this is... Ooh, that was really off-scale. Uh, the way I do this is I do these sort of practice maps, and then uh, go back onto much larger graph paper and draw full maps that are more refined. I also use whiteout on those maps. So I guess I can go up here, but if I'm not mistaken, going up here, like, I can't, still can't reach that Goonie up at the very top until I get the ladder. I don't know. It's been a while since I've played this. So you know what? I don't actually know what I'm talking about. But I do know that I really screwed up by drawing the map at this part of the paper. So... You know, I'm going to do a quick reconnoiter around here, see what's up. Ah, oh, those damn birds. Oh, I found a warp zone. What happens if I go forward? Oh, this is the one where I have to use the hammer and the ladder, okay. So, for the time being, I cannot progress past this part of the hideout. So maybe I won't map this for now. Maybe I'll come back later when I have the means. Oh, wait. Never mind. I can reach up there. Oh, I really screwed up. Alright. So we're going to do this kind of in reverse. And we're going to start here. At the edge of this screen. Let me quickly label this. Uh, how did I use that before? back the attic, or the cellar. So let's call this back the cellar. Make it look all nice and fancy. Put some shading on there so people know that this is a realistic 3D game. As every video game packaging said back in the 80s, even if it uh, was like extremely unconvincing stick figures, it still had lifelike graphics. And this game is truly lifelike. Uh, so here I'm going to draw a connection to say to hideout. There we go. I've bailed myself out. Very exciting. Okay, so we are now in the attic looking for toys, and let's see where I am relative to the rest of the map. Okay, so I need to be like four screens over. And uh, let's see, so.
six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right? Did I say four screens? No, two screens. Okay. So right about here, we'll go up a little bit. And that will be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Plotting out the details. Very exciting. I think I might be drawing off the paper at this point, though. So let me yank this sheet free, if I can. Maybe I cannot, I don't know. Someone made a joke about how the sprite looks like Sean Astin. It's true. He, this is a filthy little hobbit that I'm playing as. All right, so um, here's the boundary and the boundary. I forgot, I'm mapping this stuff. Uh, so it looks like it comes over to about here. And I switch to the fine detail pen. Okay, first of all, we have the whole uh, edge of the world, as it were. All right, so there's that. Come up here. A ladder leading into the depths. Draw the roof, and that comes out just shy of the halfway mark. And there's a ladder, and there is another platform over here that lines up with the edge of the ladder, and I do not draw the snake. Okay, so on to the next screen. Don't, oh, I did not make the jump successfully. And I forgot to take a note on where that screen ended exactly, but I think that's about it. Yeah, okay. There we go. Oh, and he gave me keys. How nice. What a friendly little snake that wanted to eat me. Okay. So we draw the outer boundaries of the hideout. And that comes all the way here. And I think I'm about to rescue my first Goonie. It's very exciting. Okay, so we got the edge of the world again. The exterior of the extremely strangely shaped hideout. I'm going to make that a little lower. And then, wait a minute, how did that work? Did it drop down? Sorry. Okay, yeah, that's what it was. So that drops, ends right at the edge of the screen. That comes all the way across. All right. So then we have this other platform right here. It comes about a third of the way across the screen. There's a ladder that drops down. And... here platform and I probably kind of messed up by by drawing this inconsistently I don't actually know what door this is supposed to be but let's say it is two so this is the hideout backside Also give that a 3D effect to fool the rubes. Uh, 
Okay, and now I, uh, what am I doing here? Oh, right, coloring the door red. Don't want to paint it black. And there we go. There's going to be a Goonie inside. It's very exciting. I should also draw a connector leading down to the ladder in the lower hideout. And now I need to remember how I drew the interior spaces before. That's very important. Uh, you know, I'm not going to get super fancy about this. I am just going to continue drawing on this existing paper. Yeah. Since I'm using a different numeration system, it should be okay. So let's go inside and see what's up. Alright, so... Okay, I remember how this one's laid out. I'm pausing so you don't have to listen to that music that drones through the top of your skull. So this one is... okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Four, four. Oh, wait, that's not how it works. It is actually like. Hmm. I got careless. Okay, so it's actually like this. I'm in this room over here. This lower room. Did I do that right? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oops. My bad again. Okay, so that's the room that I'm currently in. Here's the other room that's going to be next to me. And there's a hidden room where Goonie is ensconced. But you don't know about that yet. So I'm going to draw that as a broken line because it's hidden. It's a secret. Game Apartment 1C says, What gin are you drinking this evening, Jeremy? I am drinking Tanqueray Malacca. Or Malacca. I have no idea how you pronounce that. And this is a gin that I recently tried in San Francisco when I was visiting. I'd never heard of it before. And it's fantastic. Oh, look at that! There's a bomb box! La 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 bomb box. Uh, Tinkeray Malika is kind of reminiscent of Nolet's Silver, if you've ever had that. And if you haven't had that, you should, because it's fantastic. Uh, anyway, this is a very nice gin, very floral. It has, like, rose petals or something in it. I don't know. It's very good, though. Unless you're one of those boring people who's like, please don't give me things that taste nice. Okay, so this is going to be item 8, and that is a bomb box. So let me switch over and write 8. Bomb box. And I should figure out a way to denote the fact that I have to hit something. So I guess when I punch something, that's going to be a pink circle. Someone made a joke about this being a loot crate, but it's so much better because it allows me to create explosions. Uh, Game Apartment 1C says, when do you think we'll get a gin to game pairing video series? Boy, I don't know about that. You know, the thing about about good gin is that it pairs with anything. It pairs with, well, not anything, but with any game. A good game and a good gin, you've got a good time. But drink responsibly, kids. And only if it's legal in your area. Alright, so with that drawn, I need to sketch in the door here. Okay. So we have this room, and uh, this was, what, door one? Two? Door two, I think. Yeah. 
So in the future, when I divide this out, we can, uh, you know, put the front and back doors uh, or rooms in the appropriate side of the map. It's very good. But for the time being, I'm going to take the pump box. Yes, I do. It is not a boom box. It is very different. So right here, I smash the door. But it does not say smash because this is not Earthbound, although it does involve suburban American teenagers or preteens. What can I tell you? All right. Kids on an Adventure was uh, an extremely popular 80s genre. So let's see. What should denote the use of a hammer. It's very complicated, so... Alright, so up above I drew a jagged hole in... what is that? Orange? Red? Okay, it's red. Uh, but the doors are already red, so... I guess I will draw them as purple. Thank you for being part of this decision-making process. It's truly momentous time in my life. Oh, you know, I should have made the lines around that dashed. Well, I blew it. Okay, so there we go with a red door facing off to another red door. And as much as I like iconography, I think I might just have to say on this one, like make a note that says reveal door with hammer. I don't know. But I will make it pink, which actually is more like a violet. I feel like these markers have lied to me. Like, does this, does that marker cap look like the same color that is coming out of the marker? It does not. That is a deceit most foul. So, I'm going to make an asterisk here, reveal with hammer. Well, there we go. Very exciting. Uh, so let's see, how long I've been streaming? Wow, almost half an hour, my god. Uh, so hello, if you are just joining me, it's, it's a kid. I found a kid. Uh, I'm Jeremy Parrish, searching for children in a good way, in a heroic rescue them kind of way, not in a not in a weird, creepy, bad person kind of way. Uh, this is a Retronauts cartography stream, as you may have noticed in the video title, and I am streaming The Goonies 2 for NES by Konami from 1987, and I am attempting to rescue all of the Goonies. And I am mapping it out as I go. That is why this, uh, this, this stream is very low in progress, very slow in progress, because mapping is very tedious, especially when you do it with these needless details. Like I just drew in hinges on this jail cell. Did I need to do that? No. But I did it anyway. What the hell is wrong with me? Okay, so that's a squat little fellow. I'm going to rescue that that small chunk of a man, of a boy, of a child. I don't remember any of the Goonies wearing overalls, though, but what do I know? Okay, so... Just to make this a little different, I'm going to create some contrast here by drawing blue back behind the Goonie. Look at that. Fine detail. It's gonna pop right out when I color him in green. And I probably don't need to make a note that I need to use a key to open that door because all locked items require a key. It's just good logic, you know? So we got a Goonie. He is green.
Oh, you know what? I should have uh, checked the magic locator device to see what he says, so... Oh, did I forget to get the magic locator device? Okay, well, too bad. So, yeah, that kid is very histrionic. He's either mouth or chunk. Alright, so we have a Goonie. Let's go ahead and say that this was Chunk, because accusing Mikey of being late for rescuing, rescuing him, saving his life at risk to his own health, that seems like a very Chunk kind of thing to do. I can always go back and correct this in post if needed. Oh man, someone made a joke about Big Chungus, and someone else said that joke was so last week. Which is correct. Memes have a very small shelf life. Okay, so we are back to the hideout, and now I need to map the lower floor. Even though there's nothing really to it, it's just one of those areas that you maneuver through to get to the places you want to be. It's like, uh, you know, the week, basically. The weekdays. So this is kind of cool. There's a... Uh, you can see, like, some of the future game. Oh, yeah, you think Dark Souls invented this? Oh, no. You poor innocent summer child. Nope, that was invented by the Goonies, too. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So let's... Uh, draw in... Okay, so I went down this... No, wait, this is the cellar. Oh, boy. I have no idea what I'm doing. But thank you for watching anyway. Okay, there we go. So here we are. That ladder is not quite in the middle, so I'm actually going to reorient myself a little bit and draw one line over from where I had sketched out. And one, two, three, four. We got ourselves. exterior of the cabin. My god. Amazing. Alright. So... <laughs> uh, there's still Big Chungus conversation happening in the stream. I'm glad we can talk about extremely 2019 memes while playing and mapping a video game from 1987. Uh, so, let's see. There's the ladder. There's that, and that. Look at the detail they put in here. These little things line up at the top, but then these are staggered. That's so great. Way to go, Konami. We love you. Why did you stop making video games? That's a little off, so there we go. No one's gonna sue if I don't line that up perfectly. No one can sue because... This is just a thing I'm doing for the heck of it. Konami doesn't care if I misrepresent their game. They do that all the time. Okay, we've got the ladders in there. And then over on this side of the cabin, there are some platforms and a little bit of space revealed underneath. Wow, fantastic. All right, let's see what the uh, the next stream holds for us. Ne not next stream, next screen. Okay, not a whole heck of a lot. Look at that. Like I said, it's just a, it's a room or a space that is about getting to the other places you actually want to be. So, that's the extent of the outline there. And we'll draw the ceiling again. It's the easy part. There's a ladder leading down. Oh, right. That goes like this to the edge of the screen. And then that comes all the way across. And there's a ladder over here. 
It's a very boring space. Oh wow, there's someone in the stream who has never seen the Goonies. I'm spoiling everything. I just killed a Fratelli brother. That's right. Okay, so let me line that up. Oh, pfft. Wow, Mikey uh, got a tan for a second. Probably hanging out in Mordor too long. Got cooked like a coney. But this is not the conies, it's the goonies. I'm sorry if I've caused confusion here. So, there's not much to this screen either. For some reason, someone built just a very tall ladder here, leading up to a platform that does this, does nothing. I don't know what someone would keep on this space here, but whatever the, whatever the, the idea there was, it's not coming through. I think someone needs to give the architect a stern talking to. But there is a door. There's always a door, there's always a lighthouse. Something like that. Ooh, that's... what am I drawing with? Let's move this pen out of the way. That is too thick. And not in the good T-H-I-C-C -C way, just in the bad, like, oh, that line was too heavy way. Okay. Draw the edge there, and the rafters and girders and whatever our house is made of. Beams? Yes, that's it. Beams. And here we are. Another door. This is door number three. I can tell that every time I say this is door number something, I'm going to have Monty Paul, Monty Hall rattling through my head. So let's go see what happens in door number three, shall we? the paper over there. Okay. So, this is the warp zone, and if I'm not mistaken, what I do is I use the hammer and hit up here. That's right. I can't remember what all is up there, so... Hmm. I wonder what the best way to handle this is. I guess I'll start here. Yeah, I need to I need to look that up because it's possible that once I get upstairs, there's going to be a door to the left, in which case it would bump into chunk here, and no one wants that. So uh, maybe what I should do is just indicate that's a warp. Yes, that's that's a good thought. Okay. So we're going to do that. So this is no longer make any sense to me. Uh, so I'm starting in one, two, three, four, five, six. This room here. Let's see, this is a very slow and kind of laborious uh, video stream, but you're learning the kind of decision-making choices that go into putting together the video game, uh, the map of a video to think about things like, I don't know what's up there, and I'm running out of space on my paper, and I don't want to uh, run out of space. Okay, so we're going to make a ladder there, or uh, an arrow ladder. Yes, clearly I need more gin. Also to pause that, yes, the music is now gone. Okay, so now I draw another dude here. I've already got one of these dudes on this page, so... Um, let's try to make him look consistent. Give him little feet, and little hands, little head, a little hump over here. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Here's the back wall. And there 
there is a door behind him, but I draw that in a different pin. And you know what? Every time I come across a guy who says, welcome here, this is a warp zone, I'm just going to put a 7 on him, because I don't want to write that out every single time. That sounds extremely tedious. Ricola1 says, Jeremy Parrish, are there jetpacks in this version? Unfortunately, no. Jetpack Goonies has not been invented yet, because I have not invented it. One of these days, though, I'm going to find the funding for that. If there are any like independently wealthy people out there who want to be my patron and support me for a year or two while I create jetpack jet Goonies, by all means, feel free. Uh, okay, so this guy is green, which ain't easy, let me tell you. Then the door behind him is red. Both of these doors are red, actually. Starting from the left so that I don't go backward and smear the colored ink with my writing hand. That would be extraordinarily bad. And of course he needs to have the number seven on him. There we go. Just like that. <laughs> Alright, someone's recommending I pitch the idea for Jetpack Goonies to Elon Musk. I, I don't I don't know about that. I don't know that I want Elon Musk to uh, be my, my patron. It seems like there's a lot of downsides to that. Okay, so cancel. There we go. Tools, hammer, hit. There we go. Can I hit this? Will anything come of it? No. Okay. I'll pause again. And... Okay, I'm going to get really good at drawing dimensional perspective into a room by the end of this, if nothing else. Okay, so I've got the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the hole there that I, that I smashed into the ceiling, the self-repairing hole, self-sealing. It's made of a special rubber alloy. Okay, so color that red to denote that it is, in fact, a hole. And this is a door. And this is door number three. I should also color this arrow green so that it's obvious that it is a warp. Green arrows are warp arrows. That is nature's law. Okay, so we've got that down. Let's see. Now I can't go up into that hole until I get the ladder, which I do not have. Uh, I cannot go forward here. Hear that noise? That's Mikey saying, ow, my face. It's killing me too, Mikey. Wah, wah. Okay, so we've rescued a Goonie. That's very exciting. Oh, I jumped right into a snake. That's less exciting. Indiana Jones would never forgive me. So we've drawn the hideout. Here is the back of the cellar. So I think now I will drop down and see what's down here. What's up, Astoria? Okay. So, hopefully I don't run out of space on this paper. That would be extremely bad. How much space am I giving between... What is that? One, two, three. Okay, so we'll count down three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, I do know how to count. Okay, so it looks like that ladder comes down right around the halfway mark. 
so this will be one, two, three, like there. One, two, three, f one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Living life in the attic. No, the cellar. Sorry, the cellar. The attic is the other part of the building. Opposite direction. Hmm. The Chosen 90. Wow, there's 90 of you guys. Says, so did the US and uh, Europe get lucky when Konami localized this game instead of King Kong 2? I don't know, but I do like the fact that King Kong 2's subtitle is Megaton Punch of Anger. That's really amazing. Like, that is a great, that's a great as hell subtitle. I don't know if the game is any good, but you gotta respect that subtitle. Man, so good. Alright, so here we go. Got some boundaries. Everyone needs boundaries in their life. Should draw that ladder coming down. Uh, so that comes over here. That ladder comes down. All right, good times. We have drawn a cellar. I just remembered that normally I um, use hash marks to fill in the uh, solid ground and platforms, but this stream is already going so slowly that I don't think I'm going to keep doing that. There's a spider that just won't go away. But he did go away. Oh, and he gave me a heart. That spider loves me. Alright, so let's see. Where did that go? Okay, so... like that is not quite the edge of the screen. Mm. Yeah, okay. So the edge there, the boundary that I'm looking for is where that platform ends. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six. as a giant hole. So now people are debating the uh, existential nature of King Kong 2. Is it an MSX game, an NES game? Apparently it is both, because that is what Konami did. They made games for NES and MSX, and uh, as a matter of fact, we'll be talking about that on an upcoming episode of the Retronauts podcast, if you uh, check that out in a few weeks, the uh, Hardcore Gaming 101 guys joined me last summer, and we're finally posting the episode, but we talked about Konami's legacy on the MSX platform. They made a lot of really cool games that never came to America, and they're like weird alternate versions of the games that you love and played here, but different. It's pretty unusual. And I think the conclusion we came to is that they uh, they did this. They, they published so many games on, in, on MSX because there was no licensing fee the way there was on the uh, NES and Famicom. Oh look, there's more over there. I should, guess I should draw that as much as I can. Uh, so there's a wall, let's say it goes out to about there. And that is like the very confusing maze part that you have to work your way through at the very end of the game. Like I said, man, Dark Souls ain't got nothing on the Goonies too. Don't let the don't let the people lie to you. This game is the original Dark Souls. Dark Souls is the Goonies. Uh, the Goonies 2 of action RPGs. So from now on, whenever you say something is the Dark Souls of something, what you should actually say is the Goonies 2 of something. I thank you, and Mikey Walsh thanks you. 
I don't know what's inside door number five, but we'll find out many moons from now. It's probably a bad way to number this, but what can you do? Okay. Let's see what's inside door number four. Hey, it's a 3D room. That's very surprising. All right, let's go there and there. Okay, so that was the center. I feel like there is... No. Is it here? No, not there. Can I hit the hammer here? Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, this is just a room where there's a bunch of stuff hidden. Alright, let's find the, uh, the room page once again. It's, you know, you'll, know, you'll know you found it when you see Tommy Wiseau. Alright, so let's scoot over down to the left corner again. And there's three rooms side by side. I'm going to start with the left room. The leftmost room, I should say. One. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. How long have I been streaming? Wow. 50 minutes. Uh, Sahasrala, I can never pronounce the name, says, Love the Virtual Boy Works series. No Zero episode? Would love to hear more about the history of the system. The Zero episode is coming at the end of the series, along with an episode on unreleased games and fan projects and things like that. The weird afterlife of the Virtual Boy. So once I make it through all 22 games, my god, what a gigantic system. Will it ever happen? Yes. Um, once I make it through all 22 games, then we will go along to look at the, the console itself and the bonus stuff. And then a book will come out, and it will be very cool. You should buy the book and buy one for all your friends, because it's going to be amazing. It's going to be the definitive print treatise on Virtual Boy. Not that anyone else has ever actually made an attempt, but after this, no one will need to make the attempt, because it will already have existed. And it would be fruitless and pointless to attempt to uh, cover the Virtual Boy any more than it will already have been covered. That is my guarantee to you. We need to work on some of the specifics, but I'm really hoping that um, I'm going to be able to uh, work with Fangamer on the book and get some, uh, like, lenticular, not lenticular, but, um, anastropic 3D and distribute glasses with the, uh, with the book so that you can actually see Virtual Boy screens as, as close to the way as intended as possible. But we'll see. We'll see if that works. The logistics may be too difficult. Listen to me, spilling all my top secret intel for free right here on a stream. Well, not for free, for two bucks. Two amazing dollars. Okay, so let's um, use a tool. My last hammer. What? I want goodies, not tips. Damn it. Damn you, Konami, making me waste my key on information I already knew. Okay, let's go ahead and write that down. You'll get extra energy. By saving Goonies. And uh, I see some people on the stream said that they have not played the Goonies and uh, are seen the Goonies, the movie, and you should. It's a fun little romp. And I feel like if you enjoy Stranger Things, watching the Goonies will help you understand, oh, that's what this was all about. Because it's extremely, extremely a, uh, a riff on the Goonies. 
I can't remember. Was there something here? No. Was there something up here? No. Okay, so this is just a room with doors. Okay. So, I need to draw out another 3D perspective into a room. My god. Becoming an expert in the third dimension. That is why I am creating Virtual Boy Works, because look at this. Look at this third dimension stuff I'm doing. It's the part I was born to play. Baby. Unfortunately, um, man, I haven't made much progress today, but we are actually nearly at the end of an hour. And I have things to do, like eat dinner. So I'm going to have to close out the stream pretty soon in just a few minutes. I guess um, I guess I will actually sa save the, uh, the password this time, or record the password, because uh, I've done enough here, rescued a goonie and everything, that um, I feel like I don't want to have to redo it all over again next time. But this is a very this is very slow progress. I don't know how many episodes I can stretch the Goonies two out to, uh, like and and still you know like not strain people's patience. Oh look at that a firebox! I've got fire and bombs. Mikey Walsh is like he's a tiny maniac. I've got Molotov cocktails and bombs. Like these are things no child should carry around with him. The 80s were a different time. Like we got to have Megatron toys that didn't have orange plastic caps on them. It was crazy. We were out of control. So, let's see. The door goes there. Oh, what did I just do? I messed up my perspective. That's what I get for bragging. Um, so how do I denote... Oh right, a circle. Yes, that's right. Pink circle. Or lavender, violet, whatever the hell that color is. Alright. There's that. And the red door. And there's a very nice bar in San Francisco called the Red Door. But that is not an appropriate place for someone of Mikey's age. Mikey, do not go to the Red Door. You'll get busted by the police. Okay, so that looks like it was... Um, item 10. Reveal with... I should also do that. Reveal with fist. Hooray. Okay, item 10. Put that over here. That is the firebox. And I think we're going to get a password. And you know what that means? That means killing a small child repeatedly until an old lady. Oops, fist an old lady gives you a password. Video games are weird, man. Okay, let's take this firebox and get the hell out of here. Oh, this was exactly an hour, almost. So let's see, where should I go next time? I think I have explored all that I can find in this area for now, so... Oh, spider! Move away! Move away, spider! Thank you. Oh, spider, you did move away. Not that it really matters, since I'm about to sacrifice Mikey and lose his amazing slingshot. Very sad. Okay, so now that I've done this, I need to go to the back side, or the front side, actually. And there's the warp zone to the ice cavern, I think, and a warp zone to the jungle. Let's see which one this is. Oh, this is neither. 
lady. I don't care about your glasses. Oh. Mikey, you're getting so sloppy. Sloppy in your old age. Okay, so that's the door that I came through. I think. Yes, okay. I'm all confused. And it's a shame because I've been making maps. I shouldn't be confused. You know what? I'm, I'm actually really hungry, so I am going to call it a day, but I do want to see what's down this way. This is the warp zone. It's this guy. That guy. Right, so there's the jungle cavern. See where we are? We're on the back side of the map again. Why are there giant scorpions with bug eyes? Those were not the movie. Look at that. I just I just realized that the the scorpions in this is that like a claw? No, I think that is like a giant, angry, rare, limited eye. Like a banjo kazooie eye. Whoa, it's dark. I'm likely to be eaten by Gru. Okay, I should stop playing. Sign off. Farewell, Mikey. It's been real. Oh, so many choices of ways to die. I think I'll follow the spider's lead. Okay, there we go. Alright, what's up, Ma Fratelli? Let us know the details. If yes, push start. If not, push select. Oh, I forgot about these weird symbol passwords. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and write this on my map, because what's the harm in that? S, arrow, left arrow, ampersand... Five exclamation point. Left arrow U. There's a lot of left arrows in here. Left arrow apostrophe nine nine six A U. Alright. Well that's uh that's the password. I guess I will use it next time if I continue doing the Goonies 2. And if not, I'll do something else instead. But thank you, those of you who have joined me for cartography. Uh, this was a lively adventure, and by lively I mean very sleepy, and I hope I didn't put you to sleep, but if I did, then you're welcome, because everyone needs a chance to relax. So, thanks for watching, I'll be back in a few days with another stream that doesn't involve mapping, so look forward to that. Good night.